Kia ora whanau, ko Keino Shea tēnei, uh, ko a tae mai te wiki o te reo Māori, uh, nau mai, whakatau mai. Kia ora, ko Nina tōku ingoa, whakanuia i a tātou nei reo Māori. A generation or two ago, we didn't have leaders of national business and community leaders start a speech with a pepeha or intro in te reo, let alone opening a meeting with a karakia. How do you feel about this progress? I think it's really good. Um, what it shows is it shows um, that times are changing. Um, when we um, reflect on what our, um, our grandparents went through two generations ago compared to um, what day-to-day -day life is now, being Māori, um, we're, we're a lot more prouder, I guess, our generation in terms of our, our heritage and our whakapapa and our bloodlines. Um, and we, we didn't have it um, pretty much disciplined out of us. Yeah. Um, Aotearoa New Zealand has long passed being a nation of two people, Māori and Pākehā. There are a multitude of nations within the nation. What is the challenge for Te Reo in this scenario? I don't see any challenges other than what's created um, by institution. What I mean by that is um, institutional racism is live and well um, and rearing within Aotearoa. Um, I think, um, if anything, those that don't um, appreciate the tanga that we have in terms of te reo um, are usually the ones that um, drive the institutional racism and it's usually because they're not educated um, around te kanga and te ao Māori and te reo um, but also they, um, th they um, have their, their views their beliefs and their opinions entrenched in them from times before us. Um, what I mean by that is, um, if we revert back to uh, the, you'd call it the lost generation, I guess, in terms of te ao Māori and, um, and where they had tikanga and te reo and um, everything um, uh, not beaten out of them, but disciplined out of them um, through the institutional racism, etc etc um it's actually in a lot better place now than what it was um i'm proud to be maori i'm proud to be able to speak te reo maori um and it's it's cool now to um to see it uh especially not especially in our business but not only in our business and in industry used more commonly um whether that's people who are non maori using maori greetings um or ch trying to structure a sentence together, um, whether it's it's pidgin Māori, a little bit of English and a little bit of Māori, it's good. It's an indication that it's come a long way from where it was. In terms of the multinational um, or diversity within Aotearoa, I think we're very lucky as a country. You go to other countries and, and tangata whenua there or people of the land, you know, um, they're currently going through um, issues that our people once went through a couple of generations ago, so it's real sad to see. A good example of that is Australia with their, their First their first Nations people, the Aboriginal people, um, and the struggles that they're going through as a country um, and as people, First Peoples of their nation, so, yeah. Um, te reo in the workplace is now standard, unthinkable. Again, a generation or two ago it wasn't. What more should be done? Oh, it'd be awesome to, um, you know, I consider myself lucky. I've got a, a really good employer um, that encourages and, and, and pushes this kind of thing. You know, some people ain't as fortunate. So it'd be really cool to see um, industry leaders, businesses, big businesses, corporates, and that um, encourage the use of te reo, um, empower um, not only um, people of Māori heritage, but of all heritages. Um, support um, their cultures, their beliefs, um, and implement systems um, which grow diversity um, and allow people to, or create a safe space to allow people to express themselves. Yeah.